So, what's good? So basically, this is a quick intro uh, for a video that you will see after this intro. So basically, I played Fortnite and tried it within a lesson. And that lesson was a lecture. So basically, it's like a cinema room with a bunch of students that you have to pay attention and listen to the teacher who's talking about the presentation that they present to you for one hour straight. I thought, why not try and play Fortnite? And yeah, so basically what I had to do um, was it was lagging. I don't even know how I got into the game because I tried it once before, which I'll show you this uh, the clip of that as well. Um, but yeah, thank God and luckily enough I got a few games, but it was shocking. I managed to get a kill somehow as well. Uh, I'll show you the ping as well. Jesus, um, I think I was using 4G, I think, um, which was still crap as well, being in a lecture. And also, I turned my brightness down so it didn't shine um, and brighten the student's face or get caught. So, yeah. So, that's the downside as well. Lag, brightness, turned down. Um within a dark room as well with a little bit of light but not much so that's why you're wondering why are you not shooting especially the last clip of the gameplay um yeah i didn't see the guy because it was total darkness but yeah that's the end of this update no not a update um end of intro and yeah i shall see you guys in another video and also i will add some music as well for you guys because yeah, just listening to lecture is pretty boring, so yeah, peace. Hello, as I wait for this Fortnite to load up, um, I am in a lecture and you know, no staff turns up, yeah, I come up on time, yeah, all the students have left because after 10 minutes they're like, oh no, no one's coming. So, yeah, they leave. So I thought I'm just gonna play some Fortnite in a lecture room. Why not? Yeah, but next time, yeah, I might do, yeah, playing Fortnite whilst in a lecture. So I'm listening to the teacher talk, but I'm gonna play Fortnite. Let's go. Um, material objects, things which make us define us to be part of that group. So, not this year, clearly, but last year we had the Steel City Derby. The band, yeah, okay, yeah, part of, yeah, yeah, um, the blade was out, yeah, definitely. That's part of the uniform, yeah. What else? What might they be doing? I mean, might, they might be drinking in a pub, or probably not the same pub, but. Uh, how do you like this degree? Or something like that, you know, we don't do that, okay? We go that far, we are outside our group. We don't do that. It's not the issue of the It's fine, it's the issue of the Okay? And then we can, uh, so how do we, where do we get this national culture from? You know, it's not a jet that we've got when we're born. You know, the baby is a baby, ultimately, when we're born. But we can learn it. You know, it's what we see around us, what we're taught. The community grows slowly, it doesn't change, it doesn't stay static, it changes all the time. The, the UK that I've been in is very different to the one that you're growing up in now. Different values, but they're kind of incremental changes. Uh, and it fundamentally comes down to the of human interaction, talking to each other, interacting, sharing stuff with each other. That's how. We communicate with each other and it grows and grows. So here's lots of things. Look, examples. So national culture influences us, our family. You know, whether your parents are there or not there, or how many brothers and sisters you've got, uh, what, what professions your parents might have had, what faith you've got, uh, what profession you've got now. 
if you if you're a doctor or a lawyer, then you might expect to behave in a certain kind of way. You might dress in a certain kind of way. Uh, what community? Is it all part of Sheffield? They've got different feels for them. Yeah, what's your education? The fact that you're doing two graduates. Put you into a small percentage of the population. Okay, and what experience do you need? And this can't be something up nicely for me. Yeah? What I'd like to do is change everything about yourself and get back to me. You can't. You can't change your family. That's the thing you grew up with. You can fix it. You can You can see that. You can feel it. You ever been there? Uh, how much do we like uncertainty? Okay. So Greece, Greek people nationally will like and, and handle uncertainty. You wake up and you do what you what's happening actually in the day. Uh, whereas Germany comes to the sense that you're more and organised, you know exactly what you're going to do. And that's kind of, you know, that's the only stereotype that they, they know where they're going and what they're doing. They have a plan, they're going to do it. How, how are we short term or long term orientation? So, uh, again, perhaps I might consider to be short term. Uh, some of that in there might seem to be longer term. They do lots of this large scale infrastructure projects. They take years to do. And how much do we indulge or respect that? Do we go for quick measure or do we go for an actual long term? Okay, so Hofstede came up with these six dimensions. They're just different dimensions. Uh, he's coming for a lot of criticism since he did it. You can, can take a part in his. His ideas, if you want. How how can you separate between Germany and Belgium and Holland? They're so close together. People work. <coughs> well, those countries in the next world maybe. But nevertheless, he's still seen as the first person who did this. Uh, and he's the most, you know, he's got that first. <coughs> and, and that was his part. Cultural differences can be a more than useful. That's an optimal disaster. This, this really applies that if you try and stick two organizations together with different cultures, then we're going to be in trouble. One of the biggest failures of merging companies is the difference between cultures. Okay, so what does the culture do? Just uh, boundaries, it tells you what I can't, you know, go this far and you've got outside of what we accept, what we want to do. Sense of identity, we belong, my brain, some of our, whatever it is, I wear the right clothes, I can hang out.